I am here to teach you every step of this flower, and I mean every step. I'm not messing around, so I'm going to put hot glue along the whole length of this 18-inch strip of felt. It's 18 inches long by 1 inch wide, and I do this in a few different sections because the glue dries faster than I can fold, and I want to fold it evenly, and I also don't want to burn myself. So I do hot glue along the edge of this strip, and then I'll stop and fold, and then do a little bit more, and then stop and fold, and this gives me a folded edge, which is where I will cut my fringe. Now one reason it, it's important to put glue on the edge is because you didn't want to glue too far across or into the middle of that uh, strip so that when you cut the fringe it doesn't block. You know you want little fringe strips cut along the whole length of this felt strip and that creates the felt flower center. So once that's done I start rolling from left to right. I am rolling towards my hot glue gun because I like to stop and glue with my right hand and hold it with my left and I am gluing uh, to where the bottom of this felt flower is flat. It's not curved at an angle. It's just curved flat. And then I am ready for the petals. So for the petals, there's a slit in the middle that's part of the pattern. And each side varies just a little bit as far as the petal shape. So I am paying attention to that to make sure that the flap is going from the same side to the other side and that they're symmetrical as I glue. So I just do a dot of glue and fold the flap over and on top and then it dries like that and it pops up the petal to give it some dimension. So I do that for all petals. I did 16 petals for this flower. I think I only ended up using 14 but I did a little bit of glue along the bottom of that folded flower and I am putting these petals on this first layer just lining them up with the bottom edge of this felt flower center. So I um, am just lining up those petals and it does feel like they're sticking up a little bit. It might feel that way to you when you make it and that is okay. Uh, we can adjust it later but this gives a lot of dimension to the flower and for the second layer we'll go back around again and add a second petal in and stagger it and, and put it down just a little bit further. So it's not directly behind but down a little bit further and kind of sticks out a little bit different at different angle um, because it's uh, fastened just right behind the bottom edge of that flower and that gives um, some pretty layered look to it. So we're just putting those in between the two petals that are in front of it, staggering them a little bit, and then just going all the way around with the same amount of petals that we did on the first layer. So now we have two layers and the glue has hardened and we can play around with the petals to get the look that we want. And it's so pretty and full and this looks good in so many different colors. Um, so there's our flower and for the stem we have an 18 gauge floral wire and some small pliers and I am just getting that started with the pliers into a spiral and then I use my left thumb and just keep that spiral going keeping it flat then I bend my wire I pull my wire across the center put my pliers in the middle and then bring that wire down and you've got a base for your flower you pull the leaf up behind put some hot glue and lay the flower on top and I flip it over to make sure it's centered and then I put hot hot glue on each four corners of this leaf back that I have designed for these flowers. So it's the perfect size to cover up any of the unfinished look of the back to give a really pretty felt flower uh, for our bouquet that we're going to assemble. And you can cut the floral wire with wire cutters if you need to.